Hi, welcome or welcome back. My name is Anita and I post content that is mainly about grad school applications. If you're new here, welcome to the family. So for today's video, we are going to do, uh, we are going to deep dive into the field of economics. In my previous video, I covered how to look for graduate school courses and I mainly focused on health research because that is my area of specialization. However, I did mention that I would look for resources in the field of economics, which I did, and that is what we are going to cover today. So the website that I'll be sharing with you today is called REPEC, and REPEC in full stands for Research Paper in Economics. This website is a database for everything that has to do with economics research. First, it has the sub-specializations of economics, so if you want to explore what you want to specialize in in the field of economics you have that also it has all the kind of publications that have been done that is research economics research publications that have been done they are posted on the website there's also authors different authors that have published in economics so if you want to see who who is who in the field of economics research you have it there it also has the different departments different economic departments in different institutions and they are ranked based on their research output so here you can explore the different departments that are there and then move on to the official schools website if you want to start your application in that school in the specializations offered in that department this is how the website looks i will also leave a, a direct link to the website in the description box so first, we have the economic literature section. Here, you can search for any economic literature that you want to look at. Then the, you can filter your search based on if you want all literature, articles only, papers only, chapters only, books or softwares. And then you can also search the literature that you want on this bar. You can also filter your search or depending on whether you want the whole record, the abstract, keywords, title, author. You can filter by relevance. You can filter the time period that you want to appear. Next, we have the author section. Once you click on it, you get a page for author information. Here, the people who have published in the field of economics are listed. And you can decide to filter your search either alphabetically, by affiliation, or by field. For example, if I select letter A, then I get a list of all authors whose names start with letter A. Next is the institutions section. Here, we have economic departments, institutes, and research centers in the world. You can look for them by country, listed alphabetically, by country, listed by continents, by country listed by country codes, by areas, fields, and, and functions, or you can do your own search and by associations and societies. So for example, if I select by areas, fields, and functions, then I get the different areas and fields in economics. I'm going to be biased here and choose health economics. So here you get associations and societies associated with health economics, and then we start getting the research departments and institutions for each country and continent. So we have the top research centers, economics research centers in Australia, Austria, Bangladesh, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, Denmark, Finland, France, Georgia, Germany, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to be biased again and look for Oxford. <laughs> yes, so we, you can see Oxford University, we have the Center for Health Economics and Organization. We have Health Economics Research Center. We have the Nuffield Department of Primary Care Health Sciences. So if I pick that, then the next page will open this. So we have the Nuffield Department of Primary Care Health Services, and I searched for health economics research at Oxford University. Then we're told the location is at Oxford, United Kingdom, and the home page is that. So when you click on home page, uh, it takes you to the 
homepage for the Nuffield Department of Primary Care Health Sciences at the University of Oxford. Here, you can go to study with us and pick the level of study which you're interested in, if it's undergraduate, DPhil, fellowships or masters. So I will choose masters, MSc Applied Digital Health. And it will take me to the page, information page for the MSc Applied Digital Health. From there, you can then get the course information that you need that you will input into your tool for managing your um, course choices and applications. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, please check my check out my previous video on searching for grad school courses where I shared a tool that is very helpful in looking for courses and managing your choices and applications once you start them. That is it for today's video. I will leave a direct link to the Repair website in the description box and I will see you in my next video. Bye.